What's going on guys, Kade is here and welcome back to a brand new video. So for today I will show you a quick tutorial on the best settings in New World. In general we will look into how can you play this game on a cheap computer. Then how can you get super high FPS and on top of all this we'll go over on how to fix lag, stuttering and much more. So if you are ready to get super high FPS and experience the best textures then this is the video for you. So with that said, let's get right into it. So, first things first, we have to adjust few Windows settings for New World to have the best performance. So, even before you start your game, you want to go to your Windows search bar, type background apps, click the button off where it says let the apps run in the background, and we definitely want this option off. Then we are done with that, we go back to the Windows search bar, but this time type power, and we are gonna see a power and sleep settings. So you click on it, then click additional power settings, and make sure that you have selected high performance mode. Usually the PC's default setting is unbalanced, but for more FPS, change it to high performance. And in case you don't see the high performance mode, then click this little arrow and now you should be able to see it. And then last but not the least, we have to go back to the Windows search bar one last time and type game mode and a game mode settings should appear. So you click on it and then first of all, click on the first option, which is called Xbox game bar and click this enable Xbox game bar on off. You definitely want this option to be disabled, then we click on the second option called the captures and make sure that background recording is on off as well, because we definitely don't want to overload our PCs with useless Xbox recordings. Then moving over to the game mode and make sure that we have game mode on on. And usually all PCs by default should have it like this, but just make sure. And then lastly we click on the graphic settings and make sure that this hardware, acceleration, GPU scheduling and variable refresh rates, both of them are off. When I had this enabled my PC had weird lag spikes and I couldn't figure out why, so disabling this definitely fixed it. And then now let's move over to the NVIDIA control panel. If you are a AMD user then just ignore this part and just go to the new world gameplay where I'm showing the best in-game settings. But if you have a NVIDIA GPU then what you want to do is right click on the desktop or again in the Windows search bar type NVIDIA control panel and click on it. And first of all we want to make sure that in 3D settings and under the adjusted settings preview here we have selected the second option use the advanced 3D image settings and then click apply. After this is done, now we move over to the manage 3D settings and here in the global settings, you want to copy exactly all the same things I have. These are right now the best settings for any NVIDIA GPU user to get the best FPS and performance for any game. So I'm just gonna scroll slowly and you can copy one by one, but if I'm doing it too fast, for you I would recommend to pause the video. The only thing that every viewer will have different is under the OpenGL rendering GPU settings, you want to click on it and from the default auto select you want to click on your GPU's name. I have a 2080 Ti but you may have a 1650 or something different. So don't worry if this setting don't match exactly the same. But besides that, everything else 100% copy of me. And then when you have copied everything and double checked, make sure that on the bottom right click apply and let's move over to the display settings. So now we click on display and under change resolution, you make sure that here on the top you have selected your monitor that you play New World on. And then under the change refresh rate, make sure that you're using the best refresh rate that your monitor can do. So for me, it's 240 Hz. And this should be self-explanatory, but here on the left, select the resolution you want your monitor to be. I and most of you want to have the default 1920 by 1080 resolution, but if you have a 4K monitor, then select your monitor's resolution. Then again, when this is done, we click apply. And last thing, now we look at the monitor which we just selected. So if you have under your monitor's name G-Sync capable option, then we go to the setup G-Sync and select the option to have enabled G-Sync. And I personally play my games on full screen, so I select enable for full screen mode. But if for some reason, which I don't recommend, you play your games in windowed mode, then select second box where it says enable for windowed and full screen mode. Okay, and now we are done with the outside settings from the actual game, so let's go over to the new world and see which are the best graphic settings. So in new world we click on escape key and click on settings, and here you can see my keybinds. Most of them are on default keys except the map key. Believe me that you'll be using and opening your map 24-7 to see where the next quest is. And this game has no minimap, so this is very useful key to change. So I changed it to my mouse button 4, so whenever I want to, I don't have to remove my hand from the keyboard and look at the letter M, which is the default option, but instead I just click with my thumb on my mouse and I can open or close my map very easily and fast. 
Then moving over to the preference settings, I would keep everything on default except make sure that your bandwidth mode is on high and enable analytics reporting is on off as well. Then next up we have the gameplay settings. So for this most of it it's personal preference. For you I would recommend to copy exactly what I have. But if you want some things different then the settings you definitely want to have is first of all invert camera, have it off then put camera shake on off as well and lastly we have the auto traverse on off because this setting is very bugged and you don't want always to climb every obstacle you can see and in pvp it can be very annoying and last but not the least the only setting that 100% is your preference which is the show extra ability cooldown so what it basically does here in the gameplay you can see that every time i use an ability here in the middle you can see the keybinds key and the ability cooldown. For me personally, I don't mind looking at my normal spell icons, but maybe if you prefer having your cooldowns closer to the target you're shooting, so you don't have to move your eyes that much, then have this option on on. Then moving over to the most important part, which are the visual settings. So you want your windowed mode to be full screen, then select your monitor's resolution, which for most people should be 1920 by 1080, and then keep the brightness, contrast, and fill the view on default, which is number 50. But then for the video quality, you want to go with the custom. And for the effects details, lightning details and object details have all these three on low. Then for the post processing details and shadow details have both of these two on medium. And then the rest three settings which are the terrain details, texture details and water details keep all of them on low. Then to show your FPS click on on and turn on vsync as well. Usually all games have bad vsync support but for new world enabling this reduced my screen tearing. And lastly, put your max FPS to 60. Okay, so in the video I told you that you'll be able to get plus 200 FPS and etc. And you can easily do it, but this game really doesn't run smoothly when you have more than 60 FPS. I have tested a lot of different settings and I have played 50 vs 50 wars and open world PvP. If you set your FPS higher than 60 or even unlimited, and I've heard that some people's GPUs were getting damaged and you definitely don't want that to happen. Yeah sure, I could kill mobs with 150 FPS, but as soon as I got into a PvP, even my 2080 Ti could not keep up with all the spells and the game started stuttering. So, the best settings for massive wars, normal PvP and PvE is just to cap your FPS at 60. And believe me, you won't feel a difference. And just so you would see, here I have two examples for you. This is how my game looks like on a maxed out settings. And this is how it looks like on low just with two options on medium. New World is a high performing game, but low versus high settings, the difference is barely visible. But like I have shown you, you don't want to just put everything on low as well. Because here I have another example for you. So here you can see how it looks like if the game is just straight everything on low. And now here we have the game still on low just with post processing details and shadow details on medium. Like you can see, the difference between loading objects in the distance is so much more smoother. And you don't get this weird blocky shadows, but instead everything is nice. And still you get the same performance. Then moving over to the last few options here just in case if you're interested in my audio settings. Because the in-game voice communication I would say is pretty important. And if you want the best audio settings, then here they are. So I would recommend to keep all the audio on default except have the enable audio in the background on off. And in output configurations, select that you're using headphones. Then lastly in the communications, have the voice chat enabled. And if you want to talk with other players in game, select your speaker, which for my is my mixer. And for microphone, select your mic, which for me is again my mixer microphone. And then have your microphone at number 100 because most of the mics are on low by default. And you want your allies to hear you while at the same time the in-game sounds are going in the background. And lastly, I would recommend to adjust the receiving volume because like in any game which has voice communications, there will be a bunch of trolls and players who will scream in their microphones. So I would recommend to keep that volume at around 30 to 50 and adjust depending on the situation. And this is basically everything you need to know about the best settings for new world in and out of the game. If you follow this guide, you should be able to have the best performance no matter what computer you are playing this game on. So if you found this video helpful, please click like, subscribe and enable that notification bell. So this way you would support the channel and you won't miss any more amazing content from me. If after watching this tutorial you still have questions or different feedback, then feel free to leave all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. With that said, thanks for watching guys, I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video. So take it easy, peace. I ain't here.